Say you're stuck in the Mojave Desert and you need a ride to Las Vegas. And say you're picky and you don't want to arrive in Sin City in any old Honda. Well, if you're like me, you call a friend. One who happens to have his very own homemade self-driving car. Problem solved. We were a couple miles out of Barstow when the acid kicked in. Where Hunter S. Thompson had Dr. Gonzo as a companion, I have this guy, George Hotz. He comes with less drugs, but plenty of fear and loathing. Hotz became famous as a teenager for hacking everything in sight. He hacked the iPhone, he hacked the Sony PlayStation. He has the legal fees to prove it. And now, he's hacking cars. He stunned the world last year by building this self-driving car by himself in his San Francisco garage in just a couple of months. I visited him back then to see his Acura, packed full of cameras, radars, and artificial intelligence software. Unlike the Teslas and Googles of the world, Hotz doesn't give his car a litany of rules to follow. He basically just drives the thing, and the car learns to mimic the behavior and does so better and better over time. Don't get off the exit. Don't do it. I know you want to. I know you want to. I know you see that exit. <laughs> oh, good job, car. Hotz hasn't bested Knight Rider yet, but he has achieved Hasselhoff-esque heights of confidence. Meanwhile, back on the road to Vegas, Soon, we'll probably be able to drive without radar. Just using the camera. Just using a camera. And cameras, like our cell phone. That camera is good enough to drive the car. I could keep bashing everyone like I'm the underdog, but am I really the underdog? I have a working self-driving car. <laughs> Not everyone appreciates Hot's unique brand of gusto. The California DMV, for example, recently told Hotz to quit driving his experiment on the state's roads. This is why we've had to head to the Nevada border, where the true freedom of the Mojave lives on. We're getting close to We're the getting border. Close to the border. We'll press the button once we hit the border. Why can't we do it in California? They don't like innovation. <laughs> Nevada loves innovation. That's what I heard. Oh, I see the sign! I see the sign! Prepare to engage. <laughs> On your command, Captain. All right, here we go. Welcome to Nevada. Three. The Silver State. Two. One. We are self-driving. Hatz's car had never seen the Nevada roads before, but it drove perfectly on its own for miles. That is, until the desert sun dipped down, casting shadows across the road. It's actually the worst time of day for it. Uh, the contrast is not very good. Because the sun is so bright still, and the road is so dim. And look, you see, no, 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 you can't drive. Wow. Look, I can't see anything in the picture. This is really bad. What does no. this make you think? Is this something you can fix over time? A lot of this has to do with the camera. A lot of the bug right now is just because the camera can't see. As we finally made our way onto the Vegas Strip, I tried to cheer him up. Well, let's just see what happens. It might go too soon. It might go too soon. Oh, no, it sees him there. It sees him there. Yeah, go, car, go! Here we go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Don't hit the van! Don't hit the van! Oh, Ooh. nice. Very nice. Whoa. That's closer than it should have gone. Hotz's car passed the test, and his existential angst lifted. The legend of Dr. Hotz lives on. Feeling better now? Yeah, that was good. That was good. Full autonomy! Haven't disengaged! <laughs>